All right, here we are. Another week around the trash fire. Your host, Matthias. Along with the boy. John. And a returning boy. Oh my god. Is that is that Travis? Could be. Could be. If you're lucky. <laughs> it has been... Say my name. Say my name three times in the mirror and I'll show up. I mean, I've been <laughs> trying to and you haven't shown up once. But, you know, I, I think because of uh, some, some World Eater news, you finally showed up. Yes, by the grace of the the father of uh, Nyseria, I have, I have reappeared from the warp. Yes. Yeah, baby. Well, you've been missed. Missed your insight on some chaos stuff. Hot takes. And toxic views, baby. Let's go. That's the, <laughs> that's the best. Well, we have a lot of stuff to go over today. Shall we get through the boring stuff first? Sure. All right, then. Starting off with the good old Sunday preview. You know, the most boring thing here. All right. Ooh. So I'm a little shocked here because uh, I thought this model had already come out. But, uh... Oh, Kab model. Kabandi. <laughs> Kabanda. However Kabanda. how you say this name. Kabanda. 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 Model. Yes. I thought this model was already out. You could buy him at the Weekender, the Horse Heresy one. But... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it, huh? Yeah, yeah I just been, yeah. I just remember him being announced at LVL, and I'm just <laughs> a little shocked that he's now being released now. Got to drag that content, baby. Well, I mean, Forge World's not really coming out with too much stuff. I do hope that. <laughs> yeah, right. I do hope that because he's coming out, that means we're gonna get the demon rules for 30k because it's in. It's gonna be in a. A PDF document with no actual release date. So I'm hoping we'll get that PDF soon. Don't demons work differently in 30k? Yes, they work. They work very differently. They uh, they get. I think they uh, they start with really high stats, and their stats degrade as the game goes on because the warp is reclaiming them or something. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, in first edition, they you gotta deep strike them into the battlefield, but you could deep strike turn one. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm not sure if they're keeping that mechanic. But the the dis uh, what's it called the degrading stats thing that's coming back because there's some rule interactions that are currently out for the space marines that affect that. Like I think word bearers have, or sorry, there's like psychic rules that let you extend the duration of the the toughness increase and the strength increase and all that. So that mechanic's thing, which is a, it's a kind of a cool mechanic. Cool. Okay then. Have rules been uh, out for Kabanda, Kabandi, whatever that, whatever this guy's called? We no, we. Oh, sorry, in first edition, yeah, but not in not in second edition. How was he in first he... edition? He, I don't know. One really, no one really played him because there was no Kabanda model. It's a kind but, of trash. I mean, you could use the Forge Roll Demon, but. He he was unique though because I think he had Eternal Warrior, so you can instant death him, Jesus. which was good because you just inst most greater demons you just instant death them. You get like a force weapon or something. Oh, but not God. not this guy. He Jesus. he thinks it was good. Don't you miss that, Travis? Don't you miss the insta death on special characters no. and everything? No, no, don't miss it at all. Well, that's not true. I miss instant death a little bit from war from, from D weapons, but other than that. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> the scum of the earth. Yeah, well, there we go. We got this bad boy coming by. Big red. This is the what, the biggest bloodthirster model they release? Is that their claim? I can't remember. No, because the other one is bigger. And yeah. 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 The well, one that's eight hundred and eighty eight points or whatever. Yeah. He's the yes, right. So this guy's the biggest thirty K special character model. Yep. Released. Until they port like the rules for Demon Mortarian and Demon Angron and sorry, Kabanda, you suck. Anytime, but they're never gonna do that. Never gonna implement them in there. Hey man, the amount of people I had to shut down saying like, oh, Demon Angron's late heresy, it's like, nah, dude, he becomes a demon literally a year into the heresy and seven years long. Here are my sources, freaking cited that stuff. Damn. Great. Read the books, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah. 
go. John out here slapping people down with the the lore book. Good. That's good. I yeah. mean, like, like not not to go into a big of a tangent, but it really is a problem in the thirty k community because you know it's seen as historical, but people just kind of make stuff up. Like, you know, Death Guard don't use Volkite. It's like, yeah, yes, they do. Everyone uses Volkite. Just because you feel they don't use Volkite doesn't mean they didn't use Volkite. Yeah. And excite your sources, man. Come on. So. Well, you see, my source is my feelings, so my feelings are more true than the actual oh, source of the lore. God, I'm destroyed. But see, is if if the if if your arbitrary and and silly limitations apply to your army, it's totally cool. But if you tell me my army is not fluffy because apparently world leaders don't know how to use heavy weapons, th then you're dumb. Lies, bro. Lies. Total lies. Yeah, they have the heavy chain axe. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, come on, man! Fucking uh, is it Black Legion, the fucking corn berserker with a heavy oh, bolter? That guy with a, yes, yes, mm -hmm. living proof. That guy's a cool character. With his unpronounceable name that I don't remember. Hey, well, what? that's forty k. Okay, this is you know thirty k. It's completely different. Uh -huh, unrelated entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Ignoring the fact that he was in the heresy and has yeah. five Mac moments, like not forty k. Got there, what? All right. Well, we can move on from Kambandi. And on to the good old uh, squat. For sure. The good old squat Bro. dreadnought. I uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any community takes on it, but I, other than his kind of goofy, like his feet seem a little small for how top heavy he is, but I love everything else. I think it's great. It's so fucking cool. <laughs> See, I, I think there's some dumb shit going on, but then I look at the, the icon on top of his Necromunda and I'm like, it's cool. He's, he's cool. Yeah, right? It's, just, uh, <laughs> it's, like Armando, it's like full of dumb crap, which is what it's for. Bro, paint that guy, you know, a rusty iron color, put some put some uh, technical on him to make him look like a big daddy, and 3D print yourself a better helmet. Boom, done. Damn, there you go. And a giant uh, drill. Yeah, dude. It's sick. I love it. But yeah, he needs some, like, you gotta have, like, some stabilizers on the side of those feet, like a, like a, like a dreadnought or a knight, because he just like, looks like he's gonna fucking fall over. His <laughs> <laughs> little kicking his little legs. Hey man, he's trying. He's doing his best out here. I know, man. I know. He's Stick out, out his double searchlight. Sick. Mining in Necromunda Underhive wastelands. Okay. <laughs> it's a tough job. Someone's got to do it. Is it a tough job? I'm sure it is. All the the locals and their insects shooting at you. Doing space meth and shooting dirty needles at you and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, of course. I don't know if I saw it in 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 this cast before, but those bug guys from Ash Wastes have no rule that say they're only usable in Ash Wastes. So you could totally have them in Underhive games. Ooh, spicy! <laughs> like bugs in the in the Underhive, the size of of pickup trucks. Why not? Why not? <laughs> uh, Tyranids. Wait, but different. But different. Well, moving on from that, got our Warhammer, got our Night Quest Taurus. Uh, you know, cool, whatever. It's finally wait, coming, Night I guess. Night Quest Taurus. Wait, 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 wait. What? I think it's just a reboxing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, they've actually been pretty nice with the the Night reboxes. I think I mentioned oh. it before. But the the Castellan has been consolidated into one kit, and the okay. price didn't change. Wow. I'm like, okay, Games Workshop, doing some customer friend or consumer friendly stuff. Same for the armagers; they went up like a dollar or two dollars, and it, the kit has all the weapons now. Unacceptable. That's sick. And this makes six variants and the uh, and the Canis Rex. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure, no, that's sure. sick. So there you go, reboxing of that. That's coming. I mean, just re recompense for knights being terrible, but I'll take it. They're supposed to be pretty good now, aren't they? From what I've heard, are they? I heard. Yeah. They, I heard they just get smashed. Oh, I've heard one. One of the two of them is good. I don't know oh, if it's okay. Chaos or Imperial, but somebody's good. Someone has to be Ish. good, I guess. Cool. Yeah. Uh, moving on to Kill Team, the Corsairs finally coming out on their own. These fucking sicko mode models, bro. Oof. Still have these. Still need to build them. Oh, you bought these? Nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> well, I, I took I took John's. Oh. <laughs> yes. I did not want these Eldar. Lit. Did a yeah. trade. They go, don't want Eldar. 
Yep, so I got them. We get them built eventually, but they're coming out on their own along with the new uh, legendaries coming out yeah, on their own. Also need to build these guys. <laughs> A favorite pile of shame grows. Oh yeah, I have to like, I have to like uh, put stuff in boxes because we're redoing the floors and stuff, and I just have like all these boxes of shame that I'm putting in tubs right now. I'm like, <laughs> one day. One day. <laughs> one day I'll drop this off at Paulo's house and say, <laughs> build it! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need you to build all this. Paulo's like, no! no. Yeah, because what that guy needs is more tubs in his garage. Yeah, oh man. But I mean, he owns everything. Yes, he does. Love that man. God, I love him. Great. Well, enough from that. Knockman book. We just, you know, gloss over that, whatever. Blow right on past that. Warhammer World getting a third edition on, I guess it's terrain tables. Okay. Dioramas. If you're into that. I mean, cool. Definitely cool, but... Yeah, uh, it's neat. You know. And that, that's something I'm going to go out to buy. Yeah, just save up for a ticket to go visit the real thing at that point. Right. <laughs> Got that Black Library. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Dark City, uh, audiobook, soft cover, digital. Same with the Vulture Lord. These are all books oh, we man. talked about earlier. You know, none of oh, this has read. Uh, Rose of War, same Let's deal. See. Okay. Dominion. Uh, this I is the Dominion. third edition, so right? This is, yeah, the third edition launch novel. So it's probably full of product placements. Of course. <laughs> like, uh, what was it, Dark Imperium stuff with all the and all the Primaris units? Yeah, it's so it's, weird. It's like when you name, I've noticed this, because that's a good games workshop. Other game companies that have tie novels do this. When you, when you name the thing, like, you don't say tank, you say predator tank. Or instead of, like, the Necrons, you say Scorpec destroyers with hyperface. It's like, okay. You're you're trying to sell me models, <laughs> and it's working. Damn it's you! Absolutely working. It's true. <laughs> it works. So we've got that coming out on soft cover. Twice Dead King. Oh, what's this? What's this can. I have this on audio. I'm gonna have to pull it out soon. Tell me if it's good. I'll let you know. Always down for more Necron stuff, bro. Love them. More audiobook for Age of Sigmar. Mm -hmm. That Horse Heresy anthology is going to audiobook, which you bought this, right, John? Yeah, I got. The, I did get. The, I have yet to read it, but I, I do have it. Oh, okay. I was gonna ask you how it is. It's it is short stories from stuff that's already been out, but it's a good collection. So if you just want to read random thirty k stuff, I think it's pretty good. Some of the stories in there I have read and I like them. Okay, then. Got that. And then we can just skip all this because these are just translations. French, German, French. Blah, blah, blah. Warhammer Plus. We're getting Interrogator Episode 6. We're getting John's favorite chapter, The Renegades for Lore Masters. Ooh. Stupid Renegades. Me too. So <laughs> mad. So mad. Why do you hate the Renegades so much, John? Because the just just out here. Five Codex was replaced by Renegade Chapter Codex. Well, not not literally, but they removed all the Legion rules because they wanted to promote Renegade Chapters, and I'm like, come on, why? Ugh. Why? But now it's okay. Now they're back. So are Renegades cool now, or are they still... no? They're still kind of whatever. <laughs> they're still kind of whatever. <laughs> yep. Well, there's all that coming out in Warhammer Plus, and then I don't know. Uh, apparently, Warhammer is just doing some kind of paintathon. Okay. All yeah. all this week. What what does what does that mean? What's a paintathon in particular? Uh, it just means you're gonna spend like two hours painting models and probably answering community questions. I guess. Oh, I don't watch right. the Twitch channels other yeah. than reveals. Interesting. Okay. I mean, cool for anybody that likes that. Sure. 
I'm sure. Well, I'm sure they're good painters, so I'm sure they can give out some. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they got some decent painters over there. I'm sure they can give uh, some tips out there as well. <laughs> but other than that, that is a Sunday preview. We got to go through yeah. a few more things before we can get to the good old reveals of a uh, uh, specialist preview. I guess is what we would call it. Yeah. What's next? So going into that, it's a uh, good old Heresy Thursday. Oh. Which is uh, the trend every week is just a new legionary getting more heads and uh, shoulder options. Which I kind of hate. I thought it would, they would reveal plastic stuff, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's just more legionary upgrades. And I'm like, I mean, cool, but where, where's my plastic, my plastic stuff? I mean, I mean, we're gonna talk about it later, but they just announced the new predator. But we still have uh, the so the rule books have a uh, a new leviathan and a new land raider. Yeah, it's like, come on, talk about those. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, John, they gotta milk this out every week, okay? All eighteen legions, they gotta piecemeal these out. You could do that after you show me my armor value plastic. No, they won't. They're not that smart, unfortunately. Hey, I'm like, a... not sound like Raven Guard next week or something. <laughs> Which is just beakies with little Raven on top. This is how they put the carrot on a stick, okay? This is how they get you. I mean, these are cool. I actually like these because they're beakies with some, some bling, so. Yeah, the gold tiara fucking lit, bro. Yeah, well, absolutely. Very for children. Yeah. I think I like but... the gold face mask the most, but. Yeah. I mean, yeah, good, good for Shelton players. <laughs> Although it's kind of, it, it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say like a slap. It's, okay, it's not a slap, it's too strong of a word, but it's just funny that, you know, the box set comes out, you're building your stuff, and then they're releasing this. And it's like, well, I should have waited to build my models before. Yep. You know, like, like I finished two tax squads right now, and it's like, if Blood Angels come, it's like, well, it's too late. I already finished my tax squads. I guess, like, unless I get more, I guess, but... Well, I mean, you did buy, like, three boxes of... That's true. I did buy a lot Horus of Horus Heresy, so... I'm not gonna build, like, 50 tax marines. No, 50, like, not 50, like, 15 tax squads. Way too much. <laughs> you say that until you get the urge. I know. Just have, like, Stormwing. The lust sets in. The lust for... With boots on the ground with power armor bolters. It's called plastic crack for a reason, baby. It is called plastic crack for a reason. Yep, yep. That's not all the 30k. That's uh, John alluded to. Got the uh, the, the new Predator tank. Ooh, shoosh. That's a handsome. That's a handsome woman right there. Look at that. So there's a rumor that this is gonna come in both a uh, a one box and a squadron of three. Like. Do you need some some tanks for my blood angels? A a like a box, three a box tanks? of three tanks. What? Yeah, it's probably gonna be like it's gonna be limited. Blood discount, then getting them individually. So, so it's, this I hope this comes soon because I I do want some tanks. Yeah, my prediction if it does if they do do the three, it's gonna be limited because that's what they did with like the war walkers back when Eldar. Right, that is true. Got the that new is book. Very true. Get three war walkers for like the price of two. It's great. Amazing. The, so yeah, this saving. is cool. There, there's um lots of different weapon options. Not all the weapon options, just some weapon options. Go Although these weapon options, the the double last cannon, which that's new. So, I mean, the 40k one has that, but 30k did not have that. Really. And, yeah, and sp and <laughs> speaking of um of thirty k people just going crazy over minor crap, people are like, oh, they're forty, you know, they're they're ruining the lore. They're adding double last cannons. It's like you're you're right. all these retcons, and it's like so you're telling me in this seven year galaxy, you know, wide war, no one thought, hey, we need to kill some some traitor tanks. We should just staple two last cannons together. On a predator, because no. apparently that's too futuristic for, for seriously. Well, the remember the golden ratio for these guys is one or four, can't be anywhere in between. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and have just Ponsons. You, you need that double turret. So, so that's so that's just a funny tidbit. And because that that is new. 
Ugh. So, and you can have an old Volkite Predator. Everyone loves Volkite. I mean, yeah, Volkite. The gun just looks so cool. Yeah. Is that yeah. is that the last gun? Is that the Volkite? No, no first the, uh, yeah, the first one. The all right, I thought that was like a plasma thing. thing. No, the no, bottom no. is gr- gr- holy graviolis. Yes, which have haywire again. Oh, I, I don't think people fully understand that haywire is back in mass. Um, in, in Horse Heresy, because yeah, that's really strong. Legit. So crazy. A big thing is land speeders can get haywire now. Um, actually, the, the craziest thing is Iron Hands. They have the Moratat. So one of the the HQs again, thirty Ks of Moratat. It's a it's like a, an assassin with double pistols. Uh huh. And his special rule is he could shoot his pistol up to like ten times or something. And typically, you just give him like bull pistols. You can get Volkite. Um, you can give him plasma pistols or melta pistols for your blood angels. But you know those gets hot. Interesting. Melt but, gets hot. Hands, yeah. Well, if wow. if you do the uh the 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 chain fire when he shoots ten times, he gets gets um, hot. Okay. 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 The, the rules don't specify anything about grab and iron hands. More tats can get grab pistols. That's like, oh, it's, uh, it's a nice Kratos there you got. Would, would be God. pretty bad if you just got shot by, you know, dual building grab pistol more attack. Mm. Delicious and balanced. Love it. Absolutely delicious and balanced. It's the lore friendly, okay? Where, yeah, it is lore friendly. <laughs> I mean, unless the double last time, that's not lore friendly. Yeah, that's banned. We're out. And we're out. Man, no, this is cool. This is uh, what I want. I want more plastic kits that everyone can use. And I hope this comes out soon. Or just to mm, let's go. I'm sure it will, because you know, 30k, it's it's on the rise a little bit. Yeah, so a little bit, a little bit. it's got the hype. Now you want to talk about something that has no hype on what? this channel? Blood What's Bowl. That? Oh, Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah. I was saying this channel because Europe has like ginormous 300 people Blood Bowl tournaments. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, crazy. That's wild. I love that. So we're just gonna quickly go over this. Starting with the new model Monday, we got some kind of serpent thing. So this oh. is kind of cool, actually. You know, minus the football. This, this is, this is dope. I will say. I like it. Yeah. It's lit. It's lit exactly. <laughs> the, the football is like a like a plasma you know, grenade or something, and if they didn't have the thirteen on the back, you know, I'd say this is a this would be a ten out of ten model. The boa constrictor, no, dude. <laughs> I think it's a paint job, so. His name's Jim. This is ridiculous. I love it. Boa constrictor. Well, we got that. Cool. Um, All right. A special character, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, just to specify, because I didn't mention it. Uh, We're going into the Sunday preview, or was it Saturday preview, for the Specialist Games. Sunday, it was Sunday. So the Sunday, Sunday preview. Yeah, the Sunday preview. Okay. So this is just a new model Monday. Goes in with what we're talking about because what they got was an Amazon baseball team, or baseball, football team. Amazon. Whoa. Okay. And uh, I'm, it, I, I, don't, I don't like him. Not a fan? Not a fan. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see what these things look like. Maybe they should. I like it because it's it's the the problem I have with Blood Bowl is it's j- usually just Warhammer stuff in football gear, and these are kind of unique. You don't see you know Amazons a lot, like Snake Warriors in Warhammer that aren't literally snakes, like you know, um, <laughs> like the last model we just looked at. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> this are you know like the last wall we saw or the Dodge of Cain, so. It's kind of cool seeing these snake cultists kind of thing. Minus the football stuff, obviously. Yeah. Well, they're pretty, I think they're pretty well posed. They remind me a lot of like some banshees or some striking scorpions, but like she hulkified. Yeah. Could definitely see some like Eldar conversions. Badass. Or something. Good. Also want to paint an Eldar army like that now with the fucking yellow and the green. Right, look. That'd be sick. Cool combo. Good luck with that yellow. Yeah, oh yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna wait till somebody else does it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, there we go. That was that was Blood Bowl. Cool. No comment here because I don't I don't think any of us have ever played Blood Bowl. 
Yeah, no, unfortunately, I have never touched it. All right then. Moving on. Uh, Underworld. Uh. I don't think we got this one right, John, when we made our predictions. No, we we would we say something weird and crazy. I mean, I guess we're kind of right because this is in the grand scheme of Age of Sigmar models, these are weird and crazy. But I mean, you can say that about anything. No, I mean like out of the way and not not based on a lot of current stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, um, these are cool as hell. I'm picking this up for sure. Some good old witch hunters. Yeah, oh, these are gorgeous. Holy shit! Yeah, I, right. I, I kind of feel there's a a lack of regular human in Age of Sigmar, so I, I am gobbling them up, up when I can. Hiller, super cool. Yep, I was surprised it was not a uh, two player set though. Right. A little but, bummer. No, nah, not really a bummer, but okay. Because I think the last team if we recall right or the last underworlds was a two-player box set they just had like two in a row yeah they yeah some something really close to each other i haven't been paying attention to underworlds too much but this this is cool i can see this kit selling pretty well just because it's it's the the w weird and wacky theme of regular humans <laughs> so and everybody yeah. loves witch hunters bro Everybody loves witch hunters. And there's dogs. People love dogs, too. Facts. It's big, big Bloodborne vibes. I love it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, uh, that's pretty much it for the Wonder World. So you just got one new team, which, you know, is fine. I didn't even read the card. I was like, I'm just getting this to get them and have regular humans. You know, for RPGs or for Warcry or something. You know. Don't yeah. uh, Underworld models have Warcry rules? Yes, they did get War Cry rules recently somewhere. I don't know if it was in a White Dwarf or in some... I think it was in a White Dwarf, but... Yeah. But, yeah. So there you go. You can just... You can buy the models just to play them in War Cry. There you go. But there wow. we go. That is That was all of Underworlds was just this new, this new war band or whatever they call it in Underworlds. But there's that. Moving on... Speaking of Warcry, we got Warcry. Ew. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I totally forgot that they've already showed these models. Dude, I yeah, I totally forgot that the uh, the bug guys were revealed. Because <laughs> I remember last week we were like, yeah, I remember those like Chaos Dwarf God Worshippers with the Flamethrower. But I, I don't know what the other one would be. Well, let let's do some predictions. And I totally forgot they revealed the team. Yeah. Oh man! I mean, they revealed like one model, but yeah, exactly. It was just one model. We finally got the full team here, and uh, I like them. I like the yeah. I like the uh, what are these things called? RV Bugman, the Rotmeyer Creed. Yeah, the Rotmeyer Creed. I like their aesthetic. They're sick, dude. Well, yeah, I mean, they're just like full of disease. Of course, they're sick. Uh -huh. But I like that they're kind of like roguish. They're like fast. They look like fast and dangerous, which isn't usually a nurgly. I mean, they look nurgly anyway. It isn't usually a nurgly aesthetic. Right, that's a good point. Right, I like that. That's really cool. I, I think the teams are cool. Not cool enough for me to want them, but the, the terrain is really... I wish the terrain would be out separately soon, because I really like that. Kind of like the bridges. The, the, yeah, the... The skulls and I think the trees are alive. There's like hands on them. Oh, um, sick. The trees have claws. That's that's very Warhammer. Oh so, my god. Yeah, no, this this is cool. It's a new edition, apparently. I'm um, actually uh are we talking about the the Warcry preview later? Maybe not. We we're in uh, the Warcry they, preview. Uh, they, they they talk about this box more in another article and they they have like those blurry images of one of the cards, and apparently they're introducing reactions to Warcry, which you know is a thirty, which you had in thirty k new Crazy. edition. So that that's kind of yeah, it's kind of fun to have a reaction mechanic in Warcry, and it's already alternate activation. So yeah, well, I mean, I guess they, I guess they took the reactions from Kill Team, right? No, that's from my. Uh, I think it's from Heresy. I think Kill Team has reactions. 
Piltium has alternate activations. Yeah, I don't remember. I haven't played Kill Team in a minute, though. But you know me. I only ever play 40k. I'm blind to everything. True. <laughs> uh, Did they? Okay. I could have swore there was actions. There are actions, but not reactions, where you, you immediately activate or act when the opponent does something. Hmm, okay. So, oh, um, that's just more stuff for Kill Team to steal, so. Yes, exactly. It's always only still the good stuff. Hey, that's Works how you make me. a successful game. Yeah. But no, th this this is this is a cool announcement. I think the box is great. If I already didn't have teams, you know, I would pick this up. Or projects, but yeah, I'm gonna pick terrain, it up just for the uh, the terrain. On its yeah, own. I really like the terrain, and there's new rules. You know, if you play Warcry, you kind of need the new rules and scenarios and stuff. Maybe I'll Character. go halves with someone. I know someone who's really interested in Warcry right now, so. Maybe I'll give them these bull guys. Because I don't want them. Uh, yeah. The bull guys are cool, but they like the bull guys were cool when I first saw them, but then the minute you scroll through the Nurgle dudes, the Rottmeyer guys, they're just like, it's like not even close. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do like the... Wait, look the, at the, the leader, man. He's got a little toad on his shoulder. Yeah. They're all on stilts for some reason. It's so sick. Well, it's because if you uh, if you stand in the goo, your feet fall off, right? <laughs> and, like they're swamp strider dudes. It's fucking sick. Yeah, that's a cool design. I like how the the skull is actually a skull mask, not a not his skull. I was kind of confused there for a second. Yeah. These guys are freaky. They give me. I don't know. Did you guys ever play Resident Evil Five? Yes. Like the the you know when like you get to the 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 section with the 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 tribal uh zombies and stuff it gives me big big that energy mm. yeah i know which one you're talking about i know Super exactly cool. what section <laughs> the crocodiles gob crocodiles I hate the crocodiles. or alligators whatever but yeah uh very cool i like it probably yeah. pick it up if i can if i can get someone to get a half on it with me yeah, I yeah. wish the, the terrain could be purchased separately, like you know, Broken Realms, the Bone Zone, or something. Well, oh, the Bone Zone has Catacombs terrain ever been sold separately? Catacombs, I'm not sure. The original box, yes, and the the other set, the one with the Conan dudes and the the spider guys, that terrain is available separately as well. So, mm. well, I guess the Catacombs is really just too specific for. Yeah, I what think it those was. are just, um, yeah, like, dungeons and doors. No, yeah, there wasn't really much terrain in that one. I mean, it had, like, because it was a double-sided board, it had terrain for normal Warcry. But then, you know, you flip the board over, and it's just like, yeah, put a couple bridges here, and some doors here, and that's the terrain. There's, uh, like, no walls or anything you put on there. Everything's just like this dark line. This is a wall. You can't can't see through this. Right. All right. Well, that's Warcry. Something I look forward to. Moving yeah. on, I believe is Necromunda. Necromunda. Uh. Uh. First thing we're gonna talk about is the uh. You know, exploring new scenarios into the Ash Waste. I know. John not too happy about Ash Waste right now because it's vehicle centric. I mean, my 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 excitement for the setting is is keeping me forward with the hype. Mm -hmm. But yes, you really do not care about the vehicles about for this game for this expansion. Yeah, well, yeah, we're getting more rules, or sorry, scenarios, which obviously are more vehicle centric. I don't know if you were able to look through them or not. I mean, is... contextual... Oh, go ahead. I said, but that's what it's pretty much going for right now. Yeah. I mean, conceptually, they're free scenarios, which is always a good thing, right? You don't get a book for, for this stuff, so... Yep, don't have to buy I mean, it. I might not care about them, but I like that they're doing stuff like this. Keeping it fresh. Yep. Keeping Absolutely. my wallet free of pain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the, I don't know anything about any of this, but these models are... The, they're just gorgeous. The train. I know the the train, the land train, was revealed a while ago, but damn, it looks so good. <laughs> it's cool, you know. It's 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 something 
of the 40k universe that isn't directly involved in some alien war zone. So yeah, a little more Mad Maxi. Right, right. But moving on from that, uh, the Goliaths, which I know we were very vague on. We just said that there's just going to be a new uh, new what vehicles. This thing, dude. Great chopper from Halo. I it's love a, it. It's a snowmobile for fucking running people over. I love it. Yep, these are the the Goliath spikes. Yeah, again, another thing where like this is so like damn stupid. But then I remember it's Necromunda, and it's instantly cool. <laughs> Wait, so are these variants? Is this? Or is this because they both look identical except the tire and the guns on the side? It's or is this? A, I think it's probably like a multi plastic kit or something. Interesting, because the tire still has the blades. I wonder what the difference is. One does a better job at killing when you run them over. Mm, fair, 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 fair. Yeah. A little little orc orc inspired. Slap a roller on the front and go a, mun- a munching. Yeah, just a little lawnmower on the front there. <laughs> Paint these guys all in uh, orange Julius uh, schemes. <laughs> Call them the orange juicers. There you go. Take these gut bikers into the Necromunda city. You know, have a little, have a little race down the 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 streets of the Underhive. Rubble, rubble, rubble. <laughs> ah, why is no one paying attention to us? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Um, a little disappointing. I thought they would show a little bit more. I agree. As cool as these are, I I did think they would reveal more than just. I mean, I didn't watch the stream. Thank goodness. I can't imagine the two guys just talking about this for fifteen minutes straight. So, yeah, wish really wish they would reveal more. But I mean, it's a cool new thing. It's it's Necromunda. They gotta. Just like with 30k, they gotta they gotta piecemeal this out. They gotta have that hype, that little little plastic cr- crack uh, drip feed. Mm-hmm. Right, small right. hit. You like? Does, is this good enough? Increase the dosage. Look at this. Look at this bike. You guys it's like little... it? Yeah, you'll buy it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but yep, there we go. That was the Necromunda reveal. All in all, pretty good. Yeah, cool models. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember what I have next here. Oh. Next is Kill oh. Team, which I was, I guess we were. I was completely wrong on. the The rumor I heard was Cassikins versus Gene Sealer Cult, and what we got was. Uh, Imperial Navy is what these I think these things are called. Yeah, wild. So something completely out of left field here, which is always nice because you know cool it's just kills you. This is straight up. Wow, the, the, this is actual sci-fi and not like real world wannabes like like. Cadians, you know, like th- this is <laughs> actual sci fi humans. I wish this was the standard guard armor, mag boots and shit. Yeah, this is so cool. I, I, I don't know if uh, do I want this? Maybe I do. This just it's so cool. <laughs> it's, it's, I wish I, they would have more for, kits again for guard like they used yeah. to. Yeah, and you know, all the rumors, and, you know, when we talk about the, the Potato Angron picture, there's new Cadians there, but I wish that <laughs> they they just abandoned Cadians. I mean, not abandoned, they have, you know, keep selling their kits, but, you know, make new stuff look different. Like, oh, man, yeah. this, this is so cool. You know, I, I posted this in 30k groups, and I was like, hell yeah, Imperial Army. There you go. And they're plastic. Like, the freaking guy. I wish they had more than shotguns, but, you know, it's personal yeah. reference thing they're from the fucking hell guns bro yeah, yeah give me the, give me my, my damn hell guns well i mean that's what i've always said about 30k i mean not 30k uh kill team is you know copy war cry just throw in random stuff in there yep, yeah it'll be good 
Well, yeah. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be good, but you know. That's People buy cool. the Warcry models and the Underworld models for the models. Yeah. And you just do the same thing here. You don't want to just throw in, you know, Tau Pathfinders, right? That's a dime a dozen. Everyone has Tau Pathfinders who play Tau. Yeah. Give us some interesting stuff and we'll fucking suck it up. It's like the, yep. um, uh, what was it? Rogue Trader versus Giller Pox box that they did no. a long time ago? Yep. Like, everyone wanted to get that box. Yeah, the models were fucking sick. But that was like the, I mean, John can correct me if I'm wrong, but that was like the only unique kill team out there that wasn't, yeah, I mean, no. It was just the only unique kill team out there, right? No, I think you're right, because, you know, as yeah. cool as Commandos and, and Death Corps and the new Chaos Space Marine dudes, they're just reiterations of existing things. Mm -hmm. um, even the, the sisters stuff, right? Like the novitiates. Yeah, they're new, but it's essentially a lightly, it's just, just sisters of battle without the shoulder pads in the backpack, essentially. You know, Galar yeah. Pox is completely new. The, the Rogue Traders, we haven't really seen designs like that before. Yeah. And and we're seeing it again here with these guys and it, it's it's great. I really like it. Really, really like this. Hell yeah. Yep, it's good to see. Bro, fucking teenage mutant ninja turtles all grown up here on this next one. I have and then uh, look what they're fighting. They're fighting Crute. <laughs> which is and fine. Too. Which you is know? fine, because Crute doesn't get enough uh love yeah. really. Yeah. And these like I love all the different designs for these guys. They're so sick. Just oh, more plastic crew hounds, bro. Yeah. Do it. And only four of them. We'll, hopefully, we'll be seeing the rest soon. But yeah, this this is great. Yeah, e e each of the crew look they look unique. In the oh, in the sense, in the way that the even the the previous Imperial Navy dudes, you know, one guy is like two of them are just the same guy, but one is a shield, right? But if you look at the crew. Completely unique. Each mall has has character. Yeah. Yep. Well, this is going to be a season because you know that's what GW does now is seasons. So this is supposed to be in some like a uh, space Hulk. Yeah. Some. It, so a bunch of scavengers going around. Yeah. Space Hulk fights. So. Who knows what else we're finding there? Obviously, we'll probably find some Tyranids and some Jinsu or Colts, maybe. Mm. But, yeah, this is the start of the new Kill Team season. I look forward cool. to it. Yeah, looks good. It is interesting how they didn't reveal the full box. They just kind of teased some of the models and teased some of the quote-unquote terrain. And I yeah. do wonder if... I mean, we mentioned it in the in the previous cast, but I do wonder if it's gonna be an actual board or if they're gonna do the the two D terrain thing. And you know, even if they do, that's fine. I I like two D terrain for storage and ease of ease of set of reasons. I I think they're gonna do like they did with the um, yellow pox versus uh, rogue trader and what was the other one? arena? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what they're gonna do. I think that's what Space Hulk is gonna be mainly designed for. It's just the the two D aspect of the shootouts instead of you know having elevations and everything. Yeah, that would make sense. Interesting. Okay, that'd be cool. Well, you know, new season. They're gonna they're gonna experiment and see if it works or not. But then again, you know, not everything has to take place in the Space Hulk. I'm sure there's going to be scenarios where it'll be a nice open city to play in. But now you have variety. Instead of playing like the same map over and over again kind of deal. But that is the kill team. That is the specialist reveal. A lot of content. Or a lot of new models anyway. A lot of new stuff. That's what we want. We want new models. I like new models. Yeah. I like seeing the hobby thrive. Yeah. Even in games like Blood Bowl that I don't play and don't care about at all. I like seeing new models. It means that other people pay money for that and then I can have more Angrons and stuff like yeah. that. I'm in. Yes. 
exactly every time they release a blood bowl thing whatever it's like this is funding the next thing i want <laughs> exactly <laughs> yep well speaking of the thing that travis wants scar hey. brand call that right a transition here. Scar brand, get the fuck out of here. Nah, it's Angron. I think I I never saw the uh, the potato picture of him or the uh, corn berserkers that apparently got leaked around. But you know, GW yeah. got angry and they just like here's Angron, guys. So, so side note, before we just froth enjoy over this, I I'm pretty much convinced that. Those leaks are intentional because there's no way a camera can take images of that quality anymore. Because our right? phones, are, you know what I mean? Like our cameras are so good now that you gotta intentionally blur those pictures. You know, unless you like zoom, you're like in the office and you're trying to zoom in at someone's computer, and you know. Uh, who's sitting like three desks away and they have anger on there, but I don't know, like the, the potato cam thing is weird to me because like it's it's you can't take potato cams anymore. So I'm convinced that they're intentional leaks to well, generate I mean, Yeah. Of course they are. The but, hype generation is real. Uh, yes. Real or fake. It led to them immediately dropping this Angron post. And oh, oh, what a post it was. Tell me, Mr. World Eater, how happy are you that this Angron model's out? Or, well, revealed. Pretty, uh, pretty fucking stoked. Yeah, I know. God, if it was out already, ooh, I'd already be painting it. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I'm so, I'm so stoked. He looks so fucking cool. The, uh, I mean, he looks exactly like the art that everybody assumed he was going to look like, right? Yeah, the classic, like, Armageddon art. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, you know, it's beautiful. It's fucking incredible, and I love it. I can't wait to see how short he is compared to Magnus, because he's a shrimpy little angry man. <laughs> but I mean, look yeah, at those fucking crazy. wings, bro. It's amazing. I love it. Also, the, the uh, like, crucible-style sword in his left hand. I'm very curious to hear what, what the lore and stuff is for that, and how, like, the stat profile, because it looks so fucking sick. <laughs> I think that's the the black blade of Angron, and oh. Lore is kind of lame. He just kind of get well. It's one of those things where you know in 40k he's like Angron shows up and he has the black blade, and you're yeah. like, what is that? Like, wonder what the background is. And then you read 30k, and you know Betrayer is an amazing book. I love that book, and I love how Angron turns into a demon. Yeah. But the Norger just gives him a sword, like here's your new weapon. It's the it's a black blade, and it's like, oh, <laughs> okay, cool. you know, yeah, cool. You know, um, no, 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 cool, crazy tomb robbing or or corn blessing. It's like here's a black sword, kill the people with it. Okay. See Logar out here ruining everything. Yeah. But he is the basic bitch of 40k. It's true. This is <laughs> this guy needs 30k rules. I mean, he spends more time in the heresy in this form than in his other form. So, <laughs> please, give Zerkshab, give me my gargantuan monstrous creature shenanigans and give him like eight wounds which is a big deal in horse heresy you know <laughs> fucking eight wounds oh man i always forget the scaling <laughs> the where there's the multiple damage weapons oh, yeah like let, let's go so yeah dude. this makes me want to do 30k world leaders it's Thank such you. a cool model and you know when magnus was first leaked all those decades ago <laughs> um i really thought okay we're getting angry on then because he, he is the demon primark but so cool. we had to wait for so long, but it's okay. It's okay. It'll all be worth it. It'll, it'll be worth it. I am. I don't know. I'm very curious to see how, like, what what kind of profile he's gonna have because he won't have any psychic power. So, right. Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, he doesn't do like Scarbrand. Well, maybe if it, if it works out, if it's like done better than Scarbrands, you know, like the crazy locking everybody in combat shit would be cool. If it doesn't suck, but you know, we'll see. Yeah, I do hope in, from a gameplay standpoint he does have something cool other than delete thing you charge because in 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 thirty k he that's kind of all he does, yep. and it, it makes him very one dimensional. Yeah, but 
yeah, I do hope there's some interesting gameplay mechanics, like like blocking things in a combat or or you know or something, right? He's gonna have a three inch engagement range aura. That would be cool. Um, because in in Heresy he has a rule where he can do multiple. You remember challenges, right? You guys remember yeah. challenges. So he yeah, can do yeah. multiple challenges at once. Oh. And he can split his attacks, and you know he's like strength eight or something. So he's instant instant deathing all those poor space marine captains and praetors. So yeah, he can declare multiple challenges at once, which is a cool mechanic. Fucking lopping off skulls, bro. He revives them and then wins. Yeah, exactly. So, so like I think a yeah, three inch engagement range would be cool. Or that be their three inch engagement range would be fucking busted. Like, <laughs> Shit, yeah. but yeah. Like, come on. He's like, run. I now charge this half of your army. Perfect. Like, sweet. <laughs> I'm bad. Oh, that'd be so cool. But yeah. So, yeah. I mean, what do you think he's going to land at? Okay, so I'm not up to date on what is it? Mortarian's what, 450 now or 430? Uh, or not Mortarian, not Magnus. Magnus Excuse is me. 420. You know, he's blazing Four, it right now. He's he's 420 blazing it. So that means Morty's probably a little cheaper, or is he? Little, he's usually a little cheaper, right? Uh, if he's cheaper, I think it'd either be like 10 points cheaper. Probably. Yeah, I, I I would put this guy probably. I don't know. I want to say 390, 400 maybe. 888 points. <laughs> 288 points. If he's that good, I'll fucking pay it. I don't care. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Then I'd be bummed because then I can't run him with my two lords of skulls and the super heavy detachment that I want to do. <laughs> oh god, he's so cool. I can't wait. He he's so cool. This is one of those like this model makes me want to start the army. And there, there's very few models like that these days, but this is one of them. So so sick. That's gonna be amazing. I w I wish uh uh it'd be really cool if they had because uh, I mean who knows how long this model's been done for probably a while. Um, uh, but uh like this versus a, a a new a new Drago plastic Drago. Oh, oh god, god. That'd, be that'd, be cool. so, that'd be so bitching. But you know they'll never do that. It's too much hype in one in one yeah. release. <laughs> no worry, you'll be able to get him in the new uh two player box set versus Grey Knights. I'm just waiting until the Grey Knight bo in the two-player box set. Um, I'm just waiting because this this the next Siege of Terra book comes out I think next month, and Sanguinius okay. is on the cover, and you know there's a famous fight with Kabanda, but you know yeah. Angron's gotta gotta exit the siege somehow because they lose. So yeah, prediction that Sanguinius one v twos them and wins. And that's why oh, he's so beat God. up against Horus because he's like, yeah, you guys aren't you guys aren't pretty like me. Eat my spear. <laughs> I was busy one v twoing all <laughs> both of Corn's greatest champions. For real, which you could do in game now, thanks to this model. So thanks, Games Workshop. I mean, Sanguinius yeah. probably die, but whatever. So so cool though. So, I love it. But so cinematic moments that we love, right? It's why we like the hobby so much. Absolutely. So so cool. And you're just staring at this model. Yeah, I know. Weapons are chained to his hands, which makes no sense because he's a demon, but it makes sense because he's a world eater, and I love it. Yeah, it's great, man. He's got that gladiator blood in him, man. It's so yeah. fucking cool. And, and, and just... like how... Oh, huh? go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was saying, like, his armor, too, like, it looks like the 30k model, which is great because it's him, you know? Um, yep. Oh, my gosh, that's a cool model. That's because he was just already so close to being a demon prince yeah. already. <laughs> like, oh, he's a late heresy? Nah, dude. Literally a year, a year or two in yep. to a demon because he's tired of being a resin model. Like, I want to be plastic. Lord Surprise Garth. Pikachu face. <laughs> so badass. I love it. Yeah, I just love it. It's fucking fantastic, and I can't fucking wait for it to come out. Also, point uh, uh, to uh, make a... I'm going to make a comparison he's not a bloodthirster because bloodthirsters have no tails and he has a, a really long tail that's true that's true he's not a bloodthirster and people need to stop hating he's a super prince bro yes he is the demon prince yes or not demon prince demon primark yes. all right are you done gushing over good old angron over here uh for now yes for now yeah <laughs> uh, but yeah, with that potato cam, we had a picture, or uh, there were 
berserkers in that. They're berserkers, corn cultists. It looked like, it, but it was yeah. those are new cultists or just the the new ones that that are coming out for chaos space reasons, but painted red. So yeah, the mutated um, cultists or whatever they're called. Yeah. yeah. Um. What else? Apparently, so, someone kind of pointed out there may be terminators, red butcher, which makes sense. You know, Death Guard and Thousand Suns got terminators, so red butchers coming out would make sense. Keep on bringing the models. Every box you release is another box I'll buy. Let's go. There, there you go. <laughs> and the New Cadians, New Cadian Guardsmen. Yeah, the the Kazakins. Oh, I think those we, were we the saw those last the... week. We saw were the Kazakins last were week. Were they were they regular dudes? Oh, I thought they were Kazakins because they're pictured from the back. So I think I yeah. assumed that was them. They could have been anything though. I, I wasn't think, uh, yeah, really I, looking at them. A couple people point out they were regular guardsmen, which I think is lame, but whatever. I mean, new models is always good, but come on, like, freaking these baby breachers would have been so much cooler as an army, but whatever. Could you, okay. could you imagine being a regular guardsman and having to fight Angron? Jesus fucking Christ. Pain in Siege of Terra. Hey, no Emperor's protection there. And X exactly, yeah, he has a banner that has, you know, like the oh. X on it or something. You're and right. They you are uh, right from from Saturnine, yeah. Yeah. And the the chapter ends with Angron just roaring, and then because <laughs> we all know. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I did notice I forgot to put a story in there. I forgot to mention. Uh, okay. First of all, are you guys done? Can we move on? Yes, I'm good. Can we stop gushing so. over good old Scarbrand over here? No. Yes, Scarbrand the Beautiful. <laughs> uh, I forgot to put this story in. Uh, the next codex revealed for 40k is yes. Demons. Demondes. Matt Damons, bro. So it looks like good old, uh, good old IG, you the last codex. Right before 10th edition comes out. The most <laughs> coveted spot of all the codexes. Oh, yeah. Right oh. after first codex. Sorry, yeah. Necrons. <laughs> but yeah, demons are coming out. No idea if we're getting any new models. Doesn't look like we're getting any new models. Yeah, uh, somebody sculpts, I should say. I think I was reading there was like a YouTube leak somewhere that mentioned there was no models and there was just going to be a big rework of how the army works in general. Shame because the blood letters really could use a upgrade. Yeah. One that is going to update. Oh, I love them. We're done. Nah, nah, they, they need new models. Uh, you stick to your god goddamn horrors, you fucking jabroni. <laughs> <laughs> you leave my you leave my licking, my lick a tongue sword men alone. See, they could have that. They could still look like the swords, just just not in, in regimented poses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they look the the only model stiffer than them left over is the is the berserkers, and luckily they are getting changed. So yeah, thank goodness. But I love the old berserkers too because they have a special nostalgic place in my heart. They're so beautiful, despite mm. their ninety degree elbows. <laughs> they lasted this long. Yeah. Uh, but uh, some of the things I'd heard was they're changing unit sizes for the for the for the troops down to ten, except for demonettes will be twenty. And uh, greater demons will be one to detachment, and they're going to be bigger, so like more like knights, like eighteen plus wounds. Oh, interesting. Which makes yeah. sense. They're pretty big models. Yeah, so that'll be interesting. The uh... oh, and nerglings aren't troops anymore. I think those are the only ones I remember. Oh, thank God. So, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I don't have to do fucking nerglings. As I much, hate nerglings so much. But that's only yeah, because I was using my Dark Eldar, you know, so poison weapons. Wow. Winning toughness 2 on 4 plus is a great. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for shooting meth needles at people, bro. It's just not cool. It's not cool for people who are already on drugs, you know. Meth? What? That doesn't make any sense. It's space. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. <laughs> but that is that that's it for the model news oh okay unless you have something else you want to add to demons oh no no that's it i hope angram is playable in this army side note 
Pingros playable in this army? That'd be cool if the Primarchs were playable. They could, they could, yeah, I just hope like Mortarion and, and Magnus are takeable somehow. Super super heavy detachment with Bellicor than the three princes oh, or the God. three Primarchs. Ooh, sheesh. <laughs> That'd be gross. But moving on, John posted a picture. Okay. Some uh, Primaris t last Templar. And yes, it's a picture so this, this of a Terminator. That, yeah, this is the Warhammer Plus project, the Black Templars. But it was announced, and we have some pictures of, and some trailer footage of, from a while ago of this Black Templars Primaris Warhammer Plus show. But the, this is concept art from one of the animators, and these are allegedly Primaris Terminators. Which I, you know, if these are actually Primaris Terminators, I am happy because it's the classic look, except you know, updated with the new new scale or the new proportions. And mm -hmm. they did, yeah. I mean, these look more Black Templary, but yeah, this is the design. I'm happy. I don't know about you guys, but... You don't like them all hunchback? No. Please. <laughs> I, I want them to, you know, I will accept no less than shoulder pads that are physically bigger than the model. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> Saturday. I'm out! But no, they look uh they look really cool. Yeah, well I mean if it's Primaris Terminators, I mean tenth edition. So when... Six wounds each, bro, let's go. Six wounds, why not? Make make those custodies cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm sure this got everyone hyped for Primaris Terminators or, you know, everyone mad. It's it's GW fans, you know, that goes both ways. Yeah. True, true. Yep. It's not if somebody's not outraged, then it's not GW. True. But it's good to see that. But that is it. That is all the Warhammer news that I have brought today. Cool. So, Travis, since you're here, and we didn't really have too much of an expert on this. Chaos Marines. Yeah, what you got? Talk to me about them. How good? How scary are they? Uh, supposed to be pretty spicy. Uh, in terms of like the full blown, the full blown meta, like tiers from everybody to everybody. I don't know exactly where they're gonna place yet, but I've heard that. I mean, obviously Abaddon is straight up Mc McJankies, right? Yeah. Um, with his like fifteen abilities and only costs three hundred points. <laughs> Yes. Um, but uh, I think I think uh, the word on the street that I've heard is that word bearers are going to be pretty uh pretty gross. Um, basically anything with the demon or demon kin or demon engine keyword is just uh cranked up through the roof pretty pretty well. Like uh, I mean possessed are obviously really good. Um, I've heard venom crawlers are good because the uh, the master of possession is so good and they give them uh plus one to cast. I think. Uh, so that's a pretty good combination. Uh, yeah, basically it's just de anything that buffs demons because the demons are already baseline really good. It takes it to a pretty pretty good level that you're you know shitting on people with. So, <laughs> what about what about the cultists? Because you know they they went really heavy on the cultists on this one. Um, I've I think the regular cultists aren't too bad. I think they're better than a five-man legionary, and except for the fact that the legionaries can take the, the little book now, so you get, like, uh, you can put, like, prescience on a five-man marine squad, which is fucking good. Um, but the, uh, the mutated cultists have heard are pretty good. Because you can give them the three, the three big boys, the, the huge, like, hulking ones, and they're, like, pretty nasty in combat, and then you have all the ablative wounds of the, uh, the smaller ones. Hmm. There's like a nice little throwaway murder unit. So, so yeah, I, what would you say? Mid tier? High mid tier? Uh I'd say probably A minus B plus, just based on what I've heard. But obviously that's, you know, game games deciding, but that's word on the street it seems like where they'll be at. I think B plus. B plus sounds about right. I think I think Abaddon pushes them up there. Abaddon gonna be a must must buy. Uh, all these armies. He, he seems like a must buy, but he he's such an auto take. But the book has so many tools that I 
I'm betting that the really, really high tier lists won't have him in it because they're just cranked out the ass doing all sorts of shit with multiple masters of possession and stuff like that. But I mean, who knows? It could be totally it wrong. It reminds me of the Rogan situation where when you know that was previewed and everyone's like, oh gosh, like every every tower list is gonna have long strike and three hammerheads, but no, wasn't the case. Something yeah. else was ball bustedly crazy. Yeah. But uh but he is don't don't get me wrong, he is straight up cranked and he's just really easy, right? You just boom three hundred points, Bob's your uncle, start trashing on shit. Right. Um but uh but yeah. No, it's good to know because we were going over and we we're like looking over the cultures like, is this good? I don't know if this is good. <laughs> yeah, they're they're a weird they're a weird sat line, right? Because it hasn't been like it's been a while since we've had such a unit that is like mixed has like mixed roles, right? Or mm-hmm. it's like three three good heavy hitters and then three like just nothing bur or like a couple nothing burger guys inside that just take the hits. Right. That's good to know. It's good to have that insight. Well, I think we can just go right into our hobby section. Travis, oh, since it's been so long since we've seen you, what's up? How's hobbying going? What have you been doing? Slowly, slowly assembling more custodies. Um, very slowly, but that's basically it. And, uh, you know, just uh, messing around with lists mostly. As you know, list making is my favorite part of the hobby, so... Yeah, let's see the last when was the last time you were here? Ooh. On the podcast. Do you remember? That's a good question. No, I do not. Somebody called the historian. It was before the Escalation League, right? Oh yeah, probably. So obviously, uh custodies have changed quite a bit. How are you feeling about the new custodies now? Um uh so they're not bad right um people were pretty skies falling about their changes and but then there's the other side who are just like oh you know shut up and take your changes on the chin and it's like yeah you know it's the changes made the lists less diverse which i think is lame um but i haven't been on since the uh what is it knock knockman nephilim nephilim is the one we're on now all the n the... yeah nephilim's what we're on now the weird German words, but uh, um, the CP changes and stuff are pretty uh pretty interesting for us because I mean you know, cool we don't got to spend CP on much anyway. All of our stratagems are one use or don't work on our unit, so it's like cool, sweet. We'll just buy more super characters and stuff and go a slapping. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like uh, like the dreadnoughts, you'll never. Never really buy Eternal Penitent anymore because it's not necessarily worth it unless you're investing in the I, mean, I guess maybe on like a Telemon that you want to rocket forward or something, but not very good. So, but the, they're not they're not bad. They're still they're still upper pack for sure because they're just so tanky, right, and so killy. Of course, but uh, I know was that it ne- Necrons though. Whoo, sheesh! <laughs> what everything getting core? Everything getting core, including uh. The silent, like the silent king, is just bananas, bro. Just straight up bananas. It's crazy. I love it. He's so cheap and he does so much. He can give himself full rerolls to hit and wound and shit. <laughs> so crazy. Gilliman can even do that because he's not quarter. Yeah, exactly. It's nuts. He can, uh, he can do it to because you can do it twice, right? Because he's a, he's a pharaoh or whatever. So he can do it to like you can take like doom size aren't bad now. You can just take two and just. Slap full rerolls on both of those, and then just go snipe things. It's pretty crazy. It's good That's stuff. Good stuff to be a Necron. Yes. Oh, also no. with their their uh, any army that has the ability to forward deploy, or in their case, the six inch pre move, right? Because there's the the secondary or not the secondary the uh, the missions that have the uh, you have to be holding a, a no man's land objective to generate CP for the turn. So that's obviously very good to have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good stuff for my Necrons. Bad stuff for my Eldar. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, <laughs> good stuff for my Thousand Sons. That's true. That's true. Yeah, your Eldar in particular, unfortunately. But uh, Eldar in general are still doing pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. But that's cool. So I'll just 
Slowly building custodies, huh? Yep. One one golden banana man at a time. That's cool. What about you, John? What have you been up to? I mean, it's obviously more heresy. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm so hyped just for the whole thing. that I'm not even building lists. I'm just painting units and then just, all right, this is what I have. All right, time to build a list. Just because it's like, it's just so cool. The models are so cool and... Just don't, you know, it's 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 my favorite game in in, in tabletop. So, painting a unit a week, and right now I'm working. I'm just I just finished attack squad, so now um, so blood angels have contemptors with jump packs. So I'm, I'm painting those. It's only once per game, which is not as 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 fun, but it's okay. Hiding behind buildings and then just popping up, tearing people in the face with their their power fists. Good stuff. So. Have you gotten any more games with 30k? Uh, not this weekend because um, I I was on the sidelines hobby because I wanted my uh, my buddy Sue to go play a game. Mm. So I was just working on some Mechanicum, but yeah, we're just playing some uh, lower point games still. So I'm trying to slowly get get to three thousand points. But um, I can't yeah. believe that that's the standard. That's the standard. It's it's three k. <laughs> I mean, you obviously you can still play lower point games, right? But that's that's the two thousand point equivalent. Is three thousand points? Is it still like three and a half hours? Or is I it mean, longer? The game. Yeah, the game. So we play pretty quickly because on you know one, the rules, right? You know, uh, knowing the stats is one thing, and the other thing is because right now. And in general, there's so few armies in the game. You could kind of know, like, okay, he has a multi-melta. I know what that does because I have, you know, I could take that too. Or he has predators. I know what those do because it's the same army kind of thing. And and things just die so quickly. Like like in 30k, the first two turns are really the longest because after turn two or three, most things are probably dead. And it's just about kind of salvaging... You know, if 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 you're you're behind, it's about salvaging a lead or kind of securing the objectives once you've blown stuff up. Mm -hmm. uh, really interesting though is in in 30k to compare to 40k, you you need obsec to score points, period, or to hold objectives, period. Oh, and there's like four units that have obsec. Um, it, there's the or I guess there's five. So there's there's tax squads. There's Assault squads, there's despoilers, which are tax squads with close combat weapons. So kind of like assault marines with no jump packs. Mm -hmm. And then there's reachers, and then there's recon squads. And I guess if you take a command squad, the banner gives them obsec as well. But that's like five, six units. Crazy. And if yeah, if if you know if you load up on special stuff and you keep keep your troops at the minimum, you you find that you know there's missions with six objectives and you kind of can't even hold half of them. So. It's really interesting how e even though troops aren't, you know, they're not fancy, and you could you could just take the minimum troops and s splatter on the vehicles and terminators and all that. You kind of need those those obsec units because there's not really a lot of ways to to give them obsec. I mean, there's some rights of war which are the formations that give some units obsec, but even then. Um, it's it's something to keep in mind. It's, it's a lot, something a lot of people are realizing when, because you know back in the day in first edition, way more units had obsec, like terminators had obsec, veterans had obsec. Most rights rights of war gave more things obsec, but now it's it's really limited. So it's it's making for some really interesting armies where you kind of just really can't forget to have troop choices. I kind of love that. That sounds really interesting. Yeah, right. Because you can't just stock on the big stuff. You really you, you gotta have some of the losers with just a bolter because yeah. it's not like 40k where you know obsec beats objectives no it's like like your terminators can't score at all um also right. interestingly is uh vehicles do not contest but other units do so if a unit you know doesn't have obsec they can still contest objectives but vehicles don't contest so again you can't also just load up on vehicles which I mean, Dreadnoughts are kind of OP this edition anyway because they're monstrous creatures, but you can't just park Predators on objectives and, and prevent the enemy from scoring it because, you know, if there's there's five tanks in an objective but you have attack squad, you get that objective. 
So the, the game is is pretty interesting right now. I mean, I think the the I mean, in terms of like the competitive meta for 30k, which is a touchy subject with 30k people, but it's it's hard for me to say what's what's going to be good because right now people are just comparing, or th their their point of uh, of comparison is just Space Marines, right? So when someone mm -hmm. says, is this unit good? It's like okay, it's you know it 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 kills power armor or whatever, but it's like okay, yeah, you're you're thinking about Space Marines, but once Mechanicum and Custodies and Demons drop, it's it's a whole new ball game. Where yeah. Your yeah, your armies are now woefully inadequate because you're playing against Mechanic and Custodes, which have a bunch of bolt high wound, high armor save in the case of Custodes models, and you don't have the, the firepower to deal with that or the close combat units to deal with that. But then you also have armies like Demons or Imperial Army, where there's swarms of infantry with some tanks, and you got to keep that in mind as well. But you know, because right now it the conversation is just in the context of space marines versus space marines, and for me that doesn't that's that's gonna all collapse once you know at least in August when the Mechanicum book comes out, or earlier if the the Imperial Army and Demon PDFs come out. So which is gonna be interesting. But yes, thirty k is great. I'm, I'm I'm playing it. I'm hyped, and <laughs> the long war continues. That's good to have. Never ending. Never ending. Yeah. Uh, side note, I don't know if you guys miss it, but I, I, I did not know how much I miss sweeping advance. Oh. <laughs> like, just the point of view, like, I remember I, um, I charged my buddy's tax squad with my tax squad, and it had a Praetor. And, you know, I lose a guy, and my prayer loses the challenge, and my whole squad just gets wiped because of sleeping advance. I'm like, you know what? The, that's that's kind of cool. I missed that. <laughs> it makes the game faster, for sure. For real, it definitely does make the game faster. I miss sweeping advance so much. Yeah. Back in 6th edition? Wait. <laughs> yeah, with your initiative 6 Eldar, and <laughs> just, like, catching everyone. Yep. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> No, because uh, sixth edition two, right? Space Marines still had the they show no no fear special yeah, rule, yes, right? Yes, which yeah. they don't have in thirty k. If you catch Space Marines, they die. Except, so. except uh, in sixth edition, there was a rule where, uh, you know, if you fled, you could not rally if an enemy with it was in with like six inches of you. Mm hmm. So I just I remember doing that at one of the tournaments that I I went to, where my avatar went against a bunch of terminators, won the battle. I let him run away. I didn't want to catch him because you know, why would I want to catch terminators? I get clapped back. Yeah, exactly. So uh, basically, I just had my avatar escort the terminators off the board because you yep. know I, I always just kept them within six inches. That's and my av <laughs> my avatar would go off, charge something, and then go back, you know, three inches, just to be within the six inches of the uh, the terminators. Oof, and it was funny. it was amazing. I love that. You're a bully, Matt. You're a bully. <laughs> oh, it was great. Remember, this is Avatar Six Edition. Avatar is trash. Right. He's a he was a great chaperone for uh, events. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. A, he was a great great chaperone for those parties. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I do miss sweeping advance because you know being able to wipe a unit off the board because of excellent combat makes sense to me. Why not? Yeah, right. They made it made it harder to tar pit units with just more models because you could just lose them all. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't like the current iteration right now. You know, where it's just like oh, a one or two or a one. These models run away. I don't so, like that. Don't like that at all. I like the, I like the thrill of them running away and then seeing if the uh, other person could catch them with by rolling a, by a, a dice roll off. Yeah. It's always fun. And it's Hunting. it's it's fun too in thirty k because you know right now everyone's space marine so everyone's initiative four so it's literally just a dice roll. <laughs> There's no like adding your initiative. So. <laughs> It's like, oh, you lost. There goes your 15 guys. They're they're dead. Sucker. <laughs> well, 
you, Matt? What are you up to? Uh, right now, uh, having the floors redone in my house, so I have to like pack everything up, put everything in tubs, and get everything ready, nice Ooh. and packed. So you know, I'm just looking at my closet of shame and putting stuff in tubs and getting it all nice and sorted. So I haven't really done any hobbying. And then last week for gaming, I totally spaced out and lost track of time. So we didn't even game. But. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, we didn't. We didn't game at all. I was just like. I finished my work and I was just like, oh, my God. It's Friday. We were supposed to game on Thursday. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> but you know, it all worked out in the end. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe this week we'll game. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we got uh, Warzone Nephilim to play. Now that the That's book's true. out. Spicy new missions that none of us know, and will make the game take four mm -hmm. hours. Nah, I mean it's all relatively the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just joshing. <laughs> it's just the second. It's just the secondaries that change too, right? Secondaries, faction secondary stuff, the CP stuff, all that good stuff, all that stuff yeah. that we need to remember. Exactly, which I am, they, I'm very excited about. I think it's gonna be cool. Other than the having to pay, not having the free warlord trait and relic anymore, that's fucking stupid. But all the other stuff is cool. Oh, yeah. I guess it's been over. It's been some time now. So, have we figured out the question for special characters and their warlord trait? Yeah, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta pay for it. But they just pay a CP and then they get their warlord traits. Is what the general consensus is. So, like, if like Mortarian, Mortarian pays if he's your warlord, pay one CP for his warlord traits. But did they, did they not fix that? Oh, go ahead. Oh no, no, no. Uh, I was gonna say they, uh, they people are saying you don't have to pay for it, so you can just buy, have him be your warlord. And then not pay a CP, and then just not get any of your warlord traits. If they're like, if you obviously Mortarian's a bad example because his are very good, but if you have a warlord that has to be a warlord, but he has a shitty warlord trait, you can just not pay for it. Oh, that's interesting. That kind of yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But then uh, again, but as far you know... as I know, they don't pay for relics. So, because I mean, that's just their war gear. Yeah, right. it's hard to tell what's a relic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's all interesting stuff. We'll figure out hopefully like Thursday. The nerglings on parents' base are is a relic. Got to pay a CP for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a relic to me. <laughs> well then, is there anything else we want to discuss before we close out here? I think that covers it for me. Uh, Angron is amazing. Once again, yeah. okay, we, Go we can we can we can stop I, gushing I think, over Angron here. Okay. I think I'm gonna play the leaders at thirty. If 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 I have proof that plastic despoilers, which are tax squads with close combat weapons, are coming as a kit when that model is out, then I'm oh. good. Let's go. Berserk <laughs> mm. horde. So sexy. God, that sounds amazing. All right then. Well, I'd like to thank everyone who made it to the end of this Angron. Circle jerk. Um, really a devotee of corn. <laughs> uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, help us out, and we'll all see you next time. Shill, baby, shill. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs>